Hey, welcome to uh, Liquid Rock issue 3 commentary, and there was a mistake in the middle panel. I said spew in that uh, word bubble. I totally forgot to uh, get rid of the uh, background color and all that. So, whoops. Uh, so, here you kind of see me play a little bit more with this style, and um, I'm going to already tell you when you get to the fourth issue, it's going to look a little bit more different. Uh, but yeah, the idea behind this was just pretty much following with the second issue. There's not a lot to say about this issue per se, but I mean, I will say what, I'm ha what happened with what, ha what I got, I thought it was you know, really nice, and it worked out in the end. Uh, especially with what with uh, what I was working with, I was working with a with a, with a lot of different brush tools. Um. I also here wanted to introduce a new, a new villain for the uh, comic book, which you're gonna see in, in a little while. Uh, which took me a little bit, of, a little, you know, time to get the design just right. Uh, I mean, I have uh, all these other ideas. One of my original like drafts of this character was he was gonna be a uh, he was gonna be like Jason's brother or some or a family member, and uh, I just decided. It wouldn't work. Uh, I just thought it would be a very lame plot twist. And even the more I look at this particular page, uh, the more errors and issues I see with it. With it, but uh, you know, with this local with local rock, I do. I mean, I'm using this just as a uh, training exercise to get me, you know, a better level of drawing and line work and all that. So this is just, you know, typical rookie mistakes that I'm seeing. Um. But I, and also in his original design, he was going to be bald. For the longest time, I was really adamant about, uh, to myself, that he was going to be bald. I, I really wanted him to be bald originally. Uh, but the more I looked at him, I kind of liked him with hair, rather than having him just be bald. Uh, and, and the hair, you know, is, is really what influenced the, uh, the idea that he was going to be a family member. But, you know, as I said, I decided to scrap that. Uh, this page, uh, the pencil work a lot, looked a lot better than uh, how it turned out, except for Jason's uh, drawing at the bottom. Uh, I actually really liked it. It, you know, it was really a lot of fun to work on uh, and to get and get things right. Uh, so here, the, I see a lot of stuff that actually works that the other page did uh, within the portraiture. Uh, so. I don't know, like, I, and here I, I didn't know exactly how I was going to have, uh, Carl, Carl, I think I named her, was going to act at this point, uh, I, I didn't know exactly how, her relation with King at this point, I knew that I was going to have him look for her and she was going to have some, you know, departure with that, so, uh, so I decided to kind of work around it and kind of make it work a lot better than the original draft I had. Uh, which, you know, it plagues a lot of my work, and, uh, here we see, uh, the, uh, infectious, uh, disease, I guess, the zombie-esque kind of monster. Uh, man, I, I really didn't like this, I mean, I like the design, because it, but I, I wish I could draw, I wish I drew it better, but, um, what the inspiration for this character was, you know, this design came from, was it's a lot of, like, vampire movies I saw, like, uh, 30 Days of Night, and, uh, you know, I, I, a little bit from Dead Space, uh, especially, but, uh, I mean, mainly it's from, uh, 30 Days of Night. To me, I treat it as an, as an homage, in my, in my eyes, I'm not sure if it comes off that way, uh, but, you know, at the same time, I, I didn't want to be exactly, uh, similar to a zombie, so instead of, the, of these, you know, monsters spreading their disease through, Bites, uh, they do it with their tongue. So if they, if that tongue were to touch, you know, anyone, I mean, I, I, you know, look them anywhere, they would, you know, turn to them slowly. Uh, and I also decided to make them bullet sponges as well. I, I kind of wanted them to be, you know, very sturdy and having them take a lot of punishment. I didn't want them to just be, a, you know, one shot kill or a headshot kill or anything like that. I wanted them to be straight up. Uh, you're gonna take put in a lot of bullets to take these 
take these uh, things down. Uh, and I kind of like, you know, paneling some of this work. Uh, it was it was really challenging to get exactly uh, the, the scene down, pat down exactly how I wanted. Uh, oh, I left a nice white chunk in uh, the middle panel down there. Um, yes, I, and, and this is actually the only page out of, I mean, I'm not sure the name of the page, I don't remember very well. It's been a while since I actually worked on this particular issue, but, uh, I remember this page not having a lot of background designs or any line work, so uh, a lot of the backgrounds I just kind of messed around in with Photoshop because it was just I wasn't thinking when I was drawing these were uh, in relationship they are with the building, and you know for a while I had a, a continuity error, and then I decided to fix it. And here again another continuity error you see in one uh, side no bricks, and in the next panel you see bricks. Uh, and again, you see lazy backgrounds. You can kind of see where I cut corners and and uh, that I was really being lazy with this. Uh, but again, I, I rest assured that the uh, fourth issue is, uh, is looking a lot better right so far. Uh, the backgrounds actually have backgrounds, and uh, some of the stuff is actually drawn better uh, than than here. Uh, again, I had, I had another issue drawing. A lot of the panel scenes here, and, and, and it's, it's typical because I've not done a lot of comics <laughs> uh, with action or anything, so this is just a learning experience for me, I'm, I'm still trying to uh, get things just right, so I'm looking at a lot of comics for uh, reference, or, you know, just get something, you know, an idea of how something should look, but uh, ultimately, I think I'm just gonna, you know, keep working at it, and hopefully I'll be able to get, get something, you know, pat down, and uh, get the uh, scenes working and flowing just as they should. Uh, and, uh, and here's another good scene. I wanted to, you know to feel a little bit like Last of Us, as I you know around the time I was uh, doing this particular issue, I was playing that game, and I wanted to really focus on the aspect of of uh, looting stuff and finding supplies. And you know I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm satisfied with uh, this issue's depiction of looting or anything. I'm not really sold on it. And again, I, I left a uh, word bubble filled up with uh, gray. I, I, you know, don't know how that happened. I could have sworn I uh, emptied it, but I gotta look more closely. The bottom pane on the right gave me a lot, you know, some issue when I was working on it, especially in Photoshop. For some reason when I was drawing it, it made it, it, it flowed, it flowed a lot better and it was easy to understand, but once I brought it into Photoshop, it was uh, more challenging than I was anticipating, but uh, it, it kind of came out nice from what it was expect from what it could have been. So I really like you know some of this. The top panel I think is kind of you know well done. And then here, I, I was actually kind of uh, you know was a little bit satisfied with how. The, the uh, floor came out, and how the door came out, and how I was able to uh, place these characters. Uh, and, and the bottom panel, I think there might have been a word bubble, but I thought that, you know, there was no need. Uh, you kind of get their reaction just by looking at their face, and this is also the first, you know, page, you know, out of any of, in this particular issue where I didn't have a uh, page full of dialogue or word bubbles. And uh, you see a lot of laziness where I didn't erase a lot of the brush lines where I, where I really should have. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, kind of excited. I mean, not excited, but I'm just kind of, set, you know, happy with how things looked and how things uh, came together. And, you know, look at this. Man, I, can't, I, I didn't add a page where they broke the lock off. Wow. They just opened it, I guess. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm, well, I mean, I think the idea was that he would, he would shoot it or something, but uh, I don't know, I just, I should have thought that, thought it better. Uh, again, I really like the designs of the soldiers, I thought that they came out really well done. Some of them, the idea came from a lot of uh, games I was playing, like the, uh, like, Metal Gear Acid in particular, I know I said this in another commentary, but, you know, I loved the uh, designs of, that, of the soldiers, so it kind of took a little bit of um, inspiration from that, because I haven't seen a lot of bushy collared uh, soldiers and I really like that kind of design and I like their helmets as well 
it, it's a lot of fun uh, playing with the uh, shades and the tones and where everything is supposed to be going. Uh, and then the bottom panel, I think, w you know, it worked. Um, the top panel, I think, is the best. Uh, or, uh, because it, can't, it kind of came out nicely. And you kind of see, and I don't know, just everything about this page was actually pretty, was really well done and, really, and set up fairly well. Uh, you know, and, and, and here I was kind of happy, excited that it was coming to the end. And uh, this is the last page, and this one, man, uh, this page gave me so many issues from the beginning. Uh, the line work, I, I went through so many drafts of this page because, uh, you know, nothing looked right. Uh, the, and here, nothing, it has just that nose that Jason has is bothering, bothers me, even now that I look at it. It's just, I, I know I could do a better job now, and this is it kills me that I just settled for the worst, but, uh, I and mean, even at a background, I mean, this this page was just me just clocking it out. It's like, well, it's it's done, and uh, I was just really excited to get get this particular page done. But man, I should have added a background. I should have changed that. I should have fixed the nose. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff I could I could have done differently in this in this uh, page. But uh, I also wanted it to be intentionally, you know, I don't know, not I guess not intentionally, but I wanted I wanted the viewer just to see their faces and the reaction of the room that they're getting into because I know I knew at this point the room would look really fucked up. Uh see you in the fourth issue. Thanks for watch thanks for listening.